Hello, my name is Kristen Mitchell and I will be presenting a speech about a culture on Denmark. Since 2013 and each year thereafter, Denmark has been named one of the top five happiest countries in the world, according to the World Happiness Report, information gathered from the World Happiness Report of 2020. My knowledge of Denmark before researching for my speech was minimal. I knew that Lego was invented in Denmark, Hamlet was a fictitious prince of Denmark, and Vikings were from Denmark, among other places. Through my research, I learned about a society dedicated to equality. Going into this assignment, I vaguely knew that people in Nordic countries, like Finland, Norway, Sweden, Iceland, and of course, Denmark, tended to be happier than people in other countries. This suspicion was confirmed through my research into the culture found within the country of Denmark. I will be discussing three assets of the Danish culture that contribute to its people's happiness. Places that spark joy, such as amusement parks, laws that promote equality, and Danish culture beliefs. My first point that I'd like to bring to you today is places that spark joy. The best places to find joy are in places that promote enthusiasm and amusement. And what better place than an amusement park? Located in and around Denmark's capital, Copenhagen, travelers and locals alike can share joy in Bakken, the world's oldest amusement park, and Tivoli Gardens, the world's second oldest amusement park. Technically, located just north of Copenhagen in a town called Klampenborg, Bakken opened in 1583 and is currently the world's oper oldest operating amusement park in the world. The park claims over 150 attractions, including a wooden roller coaster built in 1932, according to the Guinness World Book of Records of 2019. Bakken has adapted to bring joy to its guests over hundreds of years, all while offering a free price of admission, zero dollars. Bakken has always been dedicated to family-friendly amusement, featuring entertainment, activities, and rides appropriate for people of all ages. Located in the heart of Copenhagen is Chivoli Gardens, the world's second oldest amusement park. In August of 1843, the garden gates were first opened to the public. Tivoli provided entertainment in the form of pantomimes, roller coasters, and other common amusement attractions. Walt Disney himself even visited Tivoli Gardens several times and was inspired to create his own amusement park, Disneyland. Unlike Bakken, Tivoli Gardens does charge an admission fee, but it is relatively low, especially compared to that of Disneyland, costing only 135 Danish krön, or about $20 in American currency. That information about Tivoli was found on their Tivoli website in 2020. The last amusement park that I'll bring to you today that sparks joy in the hearts of the Danish people is Legoland Park, which was opened in 1968 in Billund, Denmark. The theme for this amusement park was separated around, celebrated and centered around the Lego brick invented by Danish carpenter Ole Kirk Christensen in 1949. Lego quickly became a popular toy, sparking joy in the hearts of children all over the world. The original Legoland Park now features nine different themes built on the brick legacy that is Lego. There are currently eight Legoland theme parks found across the world, but the one in Billund, Denmark, is the original. Legoland does require an entrance fee. Now we've talked about places that spark joy, but it's more than just places that can spark joy. The people are led by a governing factor in Denmark, just as they are in other countries. Denmark's government makes all of its major decisions with what's called the Folketing, the name given to the democratically elected representatives of Denmark. Though Denmark does have a queen, her role is mostly ceremonial. And the following laws promote equality. When people have equal opportunities in life, they have a greater chance of happiness. I will be discussing the cons, the equality of genders and LGBTQI equality. The Consolidation Act on Equal Pay to Men and Women in 2008 states that all employers must pay men and women equally 
based on an agreed upon assessment system between employer and employee. This act carefully describes the indirect and direct discriminations one may experience in the workplace that are not tolerated, including how to report any violations. Parents in Denmark get a total of 52 weeks of paid parental leave. 32 of those weeks are shared exclusively between the parents who can choose to use their time off individually or at the same time. Another subsection of the law that covers equality would be the LGBTQI equality. Denmark was the first country in the world to grant the legal recognition of same-sex unions in the form of registered partnerships. In 2012, this law was repealed and replaced with a new marriage law that was gender neutral, allowing same-sex marriages to fall within its parameters. Same-sex couples have been allowed to jointly adopt since 2010. The third and final main point regarding the happiness of Denmark lies on the cultural perspective. Denmark has always believed in treating others the way you would want to be treated. As part of their culture, Danish people believe in working for the greatest good as a team. Hanteloven, meaning no one is better than the other, is an unofficial Danish law that plays an essential role in the Danish mentality and culture. Hygge, a near religious Danish belief in surrounding oneself with friends and family for a simple, cozy lifestyle, propels these people forward, focusing on the comforts of home and the comforts of those closest to us, which could be hard in times like these, but I imagine they are handling it just fine. The other part of the cultural perspective I wanted to discuss here was that Danish people trust in a welfare system that provides free health care, K through college education, child care, and generous unemployment benefits. The welfare system of Denmark is supported by one of the highest income tax rates in the world, and the Danish people are happy to help pay it to help their fellow person. Now, parks dedicated to amusement are bound to ignite the joy in a population. So learning that one of the happiest countries in the world was home to several large amusement parks was not surprising. Deeper than the flash of joy one feels on a roller coaster is the joy one feels in their heart when surrounded by friends and family. Compassion is found in the hearts of the Danish people, making sure that everyone has equal opportunity to contribute to the greater good. Denmark thrives because the Danish trust one another, always taking the time to care for others. The Danes believe in working for the common good, rather than with selfish intent, to ensure overall happiness within the society. Thank you for listening to my speech today. Have a good day.